Hi, this is Andrew for Geek News Central, and tonight we're going to take a look at IKEA's transfer system. This is IKEA's smart home solution. It started out really as a lighting system, if you like a competitor to Philips Hue, but it has expanded its portfolio of smart devices and now has things like smart sockets and much anticipated are IKEA's uh, remote operated blinds, which have been delayed a couple of times, but hopefully will arrive over the summer. The system, much like many other smart home systems, requires on a hub, and there is obviously a complementary app available for iOS and for Android. This is the Android version. I'm just going to get this started whilst we are chatting. I have a specific uh, purpose here. I don't use IKEA's transfer system for anything really. What, what I do you do is take advantage of the cheap smart devices that are available for Tradfree. And in this instance, we're going to be looking at uh, setting it up so that we can then transfer one of their LED bulbs. Now, I don't normally recommend people take the, the white Tradfree LEDs anymore because Philips Hue have become much more price competitive in that area. But IKEA are currently the people who provide the brightest LED light. light. This one here is a thousand lumens. Uh, most of the Philips ones are still around 800. So if you need a bright white light, then Tradfree is the place to, to, or IKEA rather, is the place to go for it. So what we're going to look at tonight is, is initially how do you set up your Tradfree, but then how would we pair up a bulb with Tradfree, then unpair it and associate it with Philips Hue. So we're going to go through that whole process. I think it would be fair to characterise Tradfree as a little bit cheap and cheerful. It doesn't have the flexibility uh, of, uh, say, Philips Hue. Uh, one thing is that you absolutely have to pair what's called a steering device. Uh, if you think of it as a switch, in this case, this is kind of like a, a rotating thing which allows you to control it. We'll come on to that in a minute. The, that isn't part of the cheap and cheerfulness. I just have that to set up that way so we can do something in a minute. But um, you do have to have one of these, a steering device connected up to the hub before you can do anything with lights. Whereas if you look at, say, Philips Hue or even smart things, you can, if you want, control everything from your app. So let's get started. This is the Tradfree hub. Um, the top comes off, it just spins off. And underneath, you have the main base unit and you really have two ports, uh, one for your network connection and one for a power via uh, a micro USB. So let's get it all plugged in. These, the the US, oh, sorry, the power adapter comes with uh, the Tradfree solution, and it also comes with there's also a cable in the box. So you you do have to connect it up. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this upside down. You do have to connect this up um, by uh, by wireless. Sorry, by wire. There is no wired solution. I'm just going to try and get back onto my tablet. There we go. Come on. So you can kind of see there's a couple of lights here. They'll be chuntering through, so you've basically got your on-off, your power. I think the one of these is your network connection, and the other one's a connection to the, if you like, the trad-free servers. Now, you can quite neatly, if you've got a spare cable, you can wrap it round, um, or else you can just, if you notice here, there's a little slot here, so you can feed it neatly out the back, and it just kind of, it's not quite screws on, but clips on. So there we go, so that's that. And you can kind of see the different lights flickering away. Now, the next step is to open up the Tradfree app and go through the usual stuff. So we want to agree to terms and conditions and we want to get started. OK, so the first step in the process is to uh, get the app and the uh, Tradfree gateway all kind of synced up. It does this by using a QR code that can go on the back, that was actually on the back of the, the gateway. So it just uses the, the camera for the uh, to, to pick up the QR code. So I'm just going to turn this over. I'm going to. I don't really want to show you the QR code because um, potentially you could get hold of my QR code and then use it to get at my transfer gateway. So you'll probably people watching this will probably see just a, a black box where the QR code is supposed to go. And then I'm going to start the scanning and see if I can get it to pick up the QR code with if I can position the camera correctly. Yep, so it's found the code, and now it's syncing it all up. Good. So we've got synced. Okay, so we've 
added the gateway to the app and now the next step is that as I mentioned IKEA's trad free always expects you to have what's called a steering device it's basically um, a remote control of some kind so it has this wireless dimmer which is one of these ones here and it effectively just spins and it allows you to change the brightness to uh, through the device you've got remote controls two different kinds and you've got an off switch and then you've also got a motion sensor so we're going to get this one paired up and the IKEA app take nicely tells you what to do so we take the like the magnetic bit off it this kind of unspins if I can get it to work there we go and we then have to it tells us here press the button next to the little kind of linked chain system four times and then a red light will flash the dimmer so we're going to do that one two three four and there's the red light it's going to stop flashing hopefully after 10 seconds or even shorter so let's go to the next page so now we want to hold this near the gateway and uh, press and hold the button until the light here flashes four times so let's do that okay so it flashes here but it also tells us on the tablet that a device has been found okay so we've got the wireless dimmer now and now as it says what we can do is we can now add the light so we kind of don't need this anymore so let's just move this to one side now let's get our light out so here's our light and it's going to be very bright when i turn it on so let's just uh, leave it off for now and see what happens so we're going to add a bulb so we're going to turn on our light that is very bright so i'm just going to actually move that to one side because you can't see anything at all hide this under here okay so it's on and the power switch is on so i hit next okay we're going to use it's asking which control device we're going to use we're going to use that one Hit next and again it's the same process so we're going to hold the button in the uh, steering unit next to the bulb for about 10 seconds and we'll maybe see it what's supposed to happen is that the source the light bulb is going to uh, dim and brighten and the, we need to keep the button pressed until the pulsing stops so i'm just going to unlock the exposure on this so hopefully it, try, it manages to cope in some way so let's see how we get on i'm not going to be able to see very much it's like some dodgy sci-fi film isn't it so i'm just going to hold the button down now and maybe we'll see it so yep can you see the pulsing on the screen i can i can feel it here but you might not be able to okay and again as before it tells us that the device has been found okay so bulb found and hit okay so we've done we've got the you can see uh, i'm sorry i'm just going to turn this off or rather put it on the floor so it tells us i don't know if you can see this it's a bit i know the contrast is not great but it tells me we've just got there we've got the controlling device and we've got the bulb and it's just in a room called room so we're just going to do done and again i will you can control it here oops that's because the magnet did that so look i can control the brightness of the bulb so hopefully you can kind of see that if i can there it is okay and i've also got the ability to do it with the controlling unit hopefully this if i turn this is it going to work yeah you can kind of see as i twist it it makes it a bit brighter but sometimes it jumps about a bit and i think that reflects the slightly the cheap and cheerfulness of the uh, of the uh, of the system so that's that done and that's that's pretty much how you actually set up a uh, trad free and a light bulb and a steering device it's everything else is about setting up the rooms it's about adding in your additional uh, your additional devices you know whether it's your switch and all those kinds of things so i'm just going to put this on the floor whilst it works away 
Now, one of the things, it talks about trad reversion here up to date. I would definitely say that one of the things that makes the success of adding the bulb into Hue is to make sure that it's up to date. So we're going to check for updates. And hopefully it'll see whether we need to do any updates. Okay, so it actually says here that everything is updated to the latest version. So that means we're kind of good to go with the transition of the, particularly of the bulb, over to Philips Hue. Okay, so there's two steps to it. One is that we will need to remove the bulb from the trad-free gateway. And then also what we need to do is we need to reset the bulb. And the way we reset the bulb is effectively turn it on and off um, six times. So let's give that a go. So um, let's go back to here, manage devices, bulb, and then we want to remove the bulb. So this bulb is turned on, I know you can't see it, but we're going to proceed, we're going to remove the last device it says here, helpfully tells us, remove. Okay, and then to remove a device, we've got to use the controller thing again, and we just have to press it once, hold it near the thing and press it once. Okay, so it thinks that we've, uh, it thinks we've done, I know it's different, there's not much to see here, but um, there's just, uh, and it's a bit out of focus, so I'm not sure why it's out of focus, probably because there's not much to focus on. Um, we've, the only thing we've got left in Traveri is the wireless dimmer. Okay. I'm just going to pause the video now because I need to kind of switch a few things around, but we'll be back in just a moment. And we're back with this guide of how to transfer a IKEA transfer bulb over to uh, Philips Hue. So the eagle-eyed viewers will notice that this is no longer the transfer hub and this is the Philips Hue hub. I'm using uh, Hue Essentials, which is a paid for program. Well, I think there's a free element to it, but to get the full features, you need to pay for it. And I find it really helps the addition of particularly uh, transfer bulbs to the Hue network, just a wee bit more straightforward. So I've started it up. It's picked up where my Hue bridge is, and I'm just going to go to next. So I'm going to just connect it up. Okay, so that's all done. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add, you can go away, go on. We're going to add a new bulb in here. So lights. I want to add a new bulb in. Search for lights. Now what we're going to do here, I know this is really, really bright, but we're going to reset the bulb six times. So one, two, three, I think I miscounted already. Six. Oops, there we go. So let's see if we can get it searching. So this is the touch link is what we want to do. So we just press that. And hopefully we might actually see some of the bulb. Go on. Well, let's try hitting a, oh, there it is. You can see it dimming. Did you see it dimming? So now that it's dimming, we do the search for lights bit. Hopefully this is going to work. Come on. Okay, and you can kind of see down here. Well, maybe you can't see. You just saw there. It had found one dimmable light. So what will happen now is we'll wait for the uh, the search process to finish, and it will come up with it's found one light. Don't worry, I'll speed this. Okay, so, so you can kind of see down here it says one light found. So let's go back. So now that's uh, not the one. Let's see where it is down here. Hmm. 
Oh, here it is. Duh. It's right at the very top, of course. So now, just just check we've got the right one. It uh, says here. I don't know. So I don't know. So I'll bring it down here so if you can see it. But it does actually see trad free light. And um, let's just see whether we can turn it on. Yep. So if I hit the button here, sorry, you can't. It's just all, there's a little button here which allows you to do it. So pressing that in allows us to confirm that we've got the right bulb. So that's it. That's how you use IKEA's trad free bulbs with Philips Hue. Now, I do appreciate that there's a bit of a faff there, but I've been through this process with about three or four bulbs, and it does work. Uh, there have been times where I've had some bulbs which don't ever connect, and I think there's something potentially a little bit wrong with them, so I've taken them back and IKEA's very happily switched them over. So if you do come across a bulb which maybe after the second or third time of, of going through the touch link process and then searching for the bulb that it just never finds the bulb, just give up and get a different bulb. Okay. Again, the other thing to mention is just make sure that it is up to the right software version and things like that. Um, just make sure that's in case because if you have one that doesn't kind of work with Philips Hue, there's, there's, there's a kind of a story to this in that um, some early versions of the bulbs didn't really conform properly to the, the uh, let's get this right, the Zigbee protocol. IKEA had to make some changes and update the, the if you like, the BIOS in the bulbs to make them work. So it's unlikely you'll get any old stock these days, but that's just something to bear in mind. Okay, well, look, I think I'll wrap this up at this point. Um, what I might just check is that you can actually see this within Philips Hue, just to prove that it can, so... Okay, so if we go into, let's find where I have to go to see the bulbs. I think it's in settings and light setup. Yeah, so there's the dimmable light there. So I can't quite see. Again, there's the dimmable light up there. I'm turning it on and off. You can probably see the. And what I can do is I can obviously, I can go in here and change it to be what I'm going to use this for, which is going to be a garden light, which is why I needed the bulb to be nice and bright we can and you can kind of see that it's changed it all right well look I'm not going to label this any more than it needs to be we've seen how we can take an IKEA bulb pair it up to the Trad Free gateway and then transfer it over to Philips Hue hopefully this will be useful for some people um, I know it can be a bit of a struggle at times so if you just follow those steps hopefully you'll have as much success as I have this is Andrew for Geek News Central.